I am a board member at Four Elements Living Arts. We are a community-based arts organization based here in Kaigwang in Billings Township. And we focus on land-based art. So the interaction between art, place, land, and community. The Connections Trail here in Billings was a response to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Um, recognizing that municipalities have a role to play in bringing Indigenous history to the fore. We had many submissions from artists and we did have a formal juried process and we asked them to respond to this theme of imagining a shared future. So in terms of the truth and reconciliation, what might the future look like from the perspective of artists? The, the role of public art is, at least in part, to beautify our community, but it's more than that. It's to start a dialogue, and some of these pieces were not to everyone's taste. Some of them introduce issues that perhaps people would prefer not to think about, but it's important to have those dialogues and for art to make people think. We hope that people continue to understand uh, the role of these sculptures, to appreciate them, and um, simply to enjoy their time walking along the trail. The land and the relationship to the land has always been important. It was obviously important to the Indigenous people who literally lived off and used the resources of the land for their survival. It was much the same for the non-Indigenous settlers who came here. Fast forward to today, uh, it's important in the sense of place for people who choose to live here, but it's also a very key component of what attracts people here and the attraction of visitors is critical to our economy. Well, we're, we're pretty serious about trying to improve our carbon footprint. So we, we've worked with changing the LED lighting here and then the curling club. We've, uh, we've also changed a lot of boilers and furnaces in our municipal buildings, uh, which has reduced our uh, electricity costs. And uh, m making those kind of changes is uh, not just good for the environment, but it's reduced the cost for our taxpayers. So we, we've been happy with some of the projects that we've embarked on. Well, we have propane hot water on demand, so you're not keeping water hot 24 hours a day, seven days a week when it's not being used. There's infrared heating in the bays to warm up the trucks in the truck area. This part of the building here actually has a propane furnace. One thing it's built with structurally insulated panels. It gives us a much better R factor. Uh, it's all LED lighting in it. Uh, it's built for a uh, to last much longer, to be much more efficient, and major uh, savings on energy. These communities on Manitoulin Island are demonstrating that they care about the environment. We at Smart Green Communities are pleased to be working with them as they continue to work towards their sustainability goals. Together, we're demonstrating a more sustainable future as possible. Rethink Green is Sudbury's environmental sustainability network. For over 10 years, we've connected organizations, people, and experience to help grow environmental action here in the North. Rethink Green, solutions for a sustainable Sudbury.